I'm Ken Holloway and I'm your golf coach buddy. Thanks for tuning in. Today's video is all about hypnosis. What it is, what it's not, what it feels like and how it works. The good news is that hypnosis is very easy to understand. By the time you finish watching this short video, you'll know everything you need to know about hypnosis so that you can make good decisions and decide if it's right for you. Now, as part of my golf journey, I went to college and got a degree in psychology. After college, I went to hypnosis school and I became a board certified hypnotherapist and a life coach. I've hypnotized thousands of people all over the country and I've also created several world-class hypnosis programs for people to get amazing results at home. Now before we talk about what hypnosis is, I want to talk about what it's not. There's a lot of myths going around about hypnosis, so let's bust them right now. The first myth, and you've probably heard this one, is that in order to be hypnotized, you have to be dumb, dim-witted, gullible, or slow. In other words, not the sharpest crayon in the box. But I want to tell you that's completely not true. In fact, the opposite is true. The people who get the best results with hypnosis are people who are intelligent, people who are good at focusing their attention, following directions, and ignoring distractions. So that myth is busted. The second myth we want to get rid of is the idea that when you're hypnotized, you can be made to do things against your will. Now that's just not true. I wish it were, but it's not. Uh, when you're hypnotized, you feel normal and natural in every way. All a person can do is make suggestions. So just because someone suggests that, hey, why don't you go rob a bank and bring me all the cash? That doesn't mean you're going to rush out and do it. It's just a suggestion and you're free to ignore that one. Now let's talk about what hypnosis is. I like to describe it as a natural state of consciousness that's characterized by a focused mind, a relaxed body, and ignoring distractions. It feels natural and normal in every way. It's very similar to being at the movies. Your body's relaxed, it's dark, you're ignoring distractions, and you're allowing yourself to enjoy the movie. And we're going to come back to that in a minute. Now, some people describe it as being a trance, but that doesn't mean that you're under someone else's power or that you feel different. Whenever you're hypnotized, you always feel natural and normal in every way. Now, let's talk about the model of the mind. Uh, this is a very simple model. So this is your mind. And the top here is your conscious awareness. That's where your thinking occurs. And the bottom part here, which is much bigger and much more powerful, is your subconscious mind. And these are separated by what we call the critical filter. And the critical filter has the job of filtering out information in your environment before it's allowed to get absorbed down into your subconscious mind. So let me give you an idea of what that looks like. If I said that, hey, what do you think of my black shirt? you would reject that idea. So we have suggestions coming in and they're processed at the conscious level and they're stopped by the critical filter so they don't, they don't uh, pass through and get into the subconscious level. So I'm not wearing a black shirt, so you reject that suggestion. So the idea, the question becomes then, how do we allow information to get down into our subconscious mind when we want to allow it? So what happens is we relax the critical filter and we let information come through. So just like being at the movies, you know, this information can come through and get down into this level. So at the conscious level, we know, for example, that Tom Cruise is not actually a jet fighter pilot. And we know that Margot Robbie is not actually a real life Barbie doll. But when we're watching the movies, we can relax our critical filter and let these ideas down into our subconscious level so that we can enjoy the movie on an emotional level. And that's what characterizes hypnosis always, which is uh, suggestions are coming at you and you can choose to accept or reject any suggestions. It's always up to you. No one can force you to accept a suggestion against your consent or against your will. That's how hypnosis works. So whenever you're hypnotized, you can do it either by yourself or you could do it with a hypnotist. So the hypnotist is the person who helps you achieve your own natural state of consciousness that we refer to as hypno hypnosis or trance. And then you could use that for whatever means you want. So you could get suggestions to be a better golfer or to quit smoking or for easy weight loss or a variety of things to reduce stress, whatever it is that you want help with. Hypnosis is very powerful. 
My latest hypnosis program is for golfers and it's called Play Like the Pros. It's always been my favorite. And when you think about it, there's nothing more important in golf than the mental game and hypnosis is perfect to help golfers because it's not the second and a half that it takes to hit a shot, it's all the time in between shots where the mental game comes into play. So my hypnosis program will help you feel more confident, stronger, more powerful, more relaxed and in control than ever, every time you step up to the ball. So there's a link above for the hypnosis program called Play Like the Pros. So be sure to check it out if you're a golfer or if you know a golfer. Uh, my program is guaranteed to help you cut at least seven strokes off your game or you get all your money back. So be sure to check it out. So that's everything we need to cover about hypnosis. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and I read every single one of them. I look forward to hearing from you. And uh, in closing, I just want to say thanks again for watching. My name is Ken Holloway and remember, I'm not just another golf coach, I'm your golf coach buddy. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.